Well, well, it has been a week now, actually eight days since our last checkup of Mythic Plus. It's time to update. We have some, some comparison for today compared to how things have been going, not just in this patch, but also right before the release of 10.1.5, which has, um, you know, changed significantly how things are played in Mythic Plus. So I would like to begin this uh, recap when it comes to Mythic Plus by talking about tanks and by giving still a round of applause for protection paladin for being able to keep up with guardian druid because you know even even though as we all know by this point guardian druid is the more popular tank in the highest of keys prot paladin is still you know is still just about ahead of guardian druid when it comes to the popularity of all of the specs in Mythic plus now obviously things start uh, rising a little bit more in favor of guardian druid once you enter the more competitive side of keys which is the plus 20. what i thought was interesting was also to go back with a time capsule and remember the good old days of roughly right before the release of this patch because if we go to that point by the end of the season two before the release of this patch more or less you do see <laughs> in in quite nice contrast the popularity growth of guardian druid you also see some slight uh, changes in a positive note for vengeance demon hunter and of course the loss of protection paladin compared to how things are now this is also interesting because of course the specking question guardian has received nerfs but you know it has not really moved things in any particular direction so we still see and continue to see and likely will continue to see guardian druid being the most popular tank for the foreseeable couple of months before the release of season three the situation for healers is actually more straightforward because right from the get-go right from all key levels you do see holy paladin being the most popular one compared to for example in the tank version where guardian wasn't overall the most popular one but only at the highest of keys in here Holy Paladin is the front runner even at all key levels. When you go into the 20 plus, it gets even more popular. And then we have what perhaps might be a new record, a, a new all time record of high percentage for a single spec, which is the 25 plus category, where we see a 74.2% of popularity for Holy Paladin. This is quite fresh because Raider IO just updated at July the 29th. So we are basically almost live with these results, 74.2%. You know, you know, once if we compare this with the healers, the 25 plus healers of last uh, last season, or I should say last patch before 10.1.5, you know, it puts in perspective the balance of classes. You know, just up to three weeks ago, it looks like at least four different specs, maybe even five with, with the Discipline Priests, would have been able to enter 25 plus keys. What is also worth pointing out is that 25 plus keys before this patch were, of course, much harder, you know, much harder because up to, up to before the release of 10.1.5, the majority of the random pugs, pushers were stopping at 24. 25 you know before 10.1.5 the highest vortex pinnacle in the world was at plus 26 so having this much of a variety so early on as you can see here only 218 players it's very it's very good it's very balanced compared to now where with almost 5,000 players compared to the 200 of before you have a complete and utter dominance of holy paladins and worth mentioning once more holy paladin was nerfed did not really uh, do anything to the spec when it came to mythic plus as was perfectly expected we can then move over to the mini dps which is just like last week a quite depressing situation because despite the the popularity of red paladin in all key levels and then even when you go to the 20 plus where it gets a little bit more skewed still in favor of red paladin even more so the numbers in the end don't really end uh, matching up with the ranged even if you go into the competitive 25 plus where you see mm, you know the numbers are not are not nearly as bad as these right look at this these look halfway decent you have like four specs being being somewhat decent well when you compare them to the range DPS and you compare them with their popularity, you have over 13,000 range DPS in high keys compared to 3,400 for the many DPS. So we are talking about 
some 20% of melee DPS versus 80% of ranged DPS in keys. To, to put this in comparison to the players who believe that these numbers don't matter to them, because I don't do 25 plus keys. I don't care about this meta. I don't care about this. You know, this is not going to affect me because I'm doing a 21. You know, I'm a blood death knight doing a plus 21 and I invite my friend healer shaman to, to do the key with me and then some randoms, you know, hunters, warriors, whatever. It's no problem to me. This is a good example of how things can impact all of the population if you go and look at season one. Okay. This is season one, which is just a couple of months ago, basically. And these are all key levels, once more. This is not this is not hardcore players, it's not tryhards, these are these are like all of the entries in Mythic Plus. And you can see that the total entries were 2,150,000 melee players in Mythic Plus. Compare this to the ranged. 2,150,000 DPS players in the ranged camp. So throughout season one we had a 50-50 split between melee and ranged. You can even see it from here. You know, it's Rogue, Enhancement, and Balanced Druid. And now it's Fire Mage and Shadow Priest and Havoc Demon Hunter. Now it's Windwalker with a Warlock, right? Very, very split, very even, very balanced. Then we go back to Season 2 post 10.1.5. So, post 10.1.5, even if we go back to all key levels, so you're, we're talking about everyone, not just the hardcore players, 422,000 melee DPS versus 630,000 ranged DPS. If you suck at math, it means that there are 50% more ranged DPS than there are melee DPS. So in the span of a couple of months from you know season one to the post patch of 10.1.5, we had a massive increase of ranged DPS players compared to the melee, even at all key levels. And not only that, but even at the start, even at the start of season two, before the 10.1.5 patch, it was still 687,000 melee versus 775,000 range. So the gap was still shorter than post 10.1.5. So this is to show that even if certain things are not going to affect you, like for example, augmentation being super OP in high keys, fire mage being super OP in high keys, shadow priest being super OP in high keys, and it won't truly affect you, it is still going to shape the choices of the majority of the player base because these packs have been buffed, these packs became meta at the beginning of season two when it came to shadow priest who continued to be strong. And then we saw the planned changes for Fire Mage in the PTR, so more and more players started playing Fire in Mythic Plus to prepare for the release, same goes for more Evokers, prepping up their augmentation swap, and then the patch launched and there was a massive growth of range DPS. So even though technically this power, the power you see here, which is very of course one-sided, and then the power you see here, which is very one-sided, same goes for tanks, even though this power might not feel like it's affecting you at your lower key level, it actually does. It actually does in the general sense of which uh, types of specs and classes players will end up picking, as we have seen here in the difference we have right now between the ranged and between the melee DPS, where we are now at a massive advantage when it comes to ranged. Because we have the most powerful specs in the game right now being ranged, when it comes to DPS, and that's the result. The, the top players are definitely not enough to skew the numbers of players in the, in, in the entire player base, right? Because if you look at the 25 plus key, the number is just 13,000, you know, compared to all key levels where it's 630. So we're talking about 2% of the player base being in, in this range. So they alone are definitely not enough to have skewed the player base of range DPS versus melee DPS, right? So it's, it's you. It's the players who don't do 25 plus keys, the players who don't get high rating and the players who don't push for title, who see what the top players are doing, who see what the OP specs are at the moment and then try to play them anyways, even though they're trying to play them in a 22 key or a 17 key rather than a plus 30. So that is going to affect still the overall results, the overall meta in, a, in, in Mythic Plus that we have right now. As mentioned, we have gotten the several nerves to all of the Exodia specs. And of course, nothing really changed. It is still just just for fun. It's you know it's nice to compare the 25 plus level we have now to the 25 plus level of the range DPS 
before uh, augmentation was even released you know we still see shadow priest being quite the popular one except now it got cut in half why because now augmentation is out so now shadow priest has to contend with augmentation plus of course the empowerment of fire mage at the release of the patch so we still have though the same numbers basically mage was the third most popular one it's still the third most popular one augmentation went up over balance through it basically that's the main change what is perhaps a bit more sad is to try to remember the situation when it comes to melee dps because of course melees are the ones who lost out this season are the ones who were hurt the most this season you know 25 plus you still have the similar specs being high why because none of them were buffed none of them were changed none of them you know modified the, the power they had from season 2 to 10.1.5 season 2 so they stay more or less the same because of course what was growing what was becoming stronger were the range dps so melees as pointed out were definitely the the losers overall of of season two at least once this patch came in before this patch came in things were definitely more more balanced with, with way more options for the melee dps still not as good still not as good as the times in season one with the multiple options and choices but it was it was fine before we have gotten the advent of this comp which is also why as we are seeing in tier lists in most tier lists uh, floating around the mini dps are basically constantly losing more and more because there are fewer and fewer of them in the very high keys which are now dominated by this trio so we had this question at times about what was blizzard going to do when it came to balancing and fixing the power of these specs if we were going to get them nerfed or not the result was essentially just a whitewash we have gotten them all nerfed but not nerfed enough to change anything so we will continue likely to have the power of these specs just like this for the next couple of months you are happy you're happy if you are this this or these and you're not really as happy if you are basically everyone else because you won't really get to experience or be able to push as high as you might have wanted in mythic plus because of the very heavy dominance of these specs in this second part of the season of mythic plus so this was our recap our update of season two week three midway through the week three of of mythic plus in 10.1.5 let me guys know of course what are your thoughts about this abomination of a comp and how much how much are you feeling the impact of this comp dominating in mythic plus on your average keys whichever level they, they, they may be if you have started to feel the the uh, oppression of this comp as well or maybe if you haven't even noticed at all and don't mind these specs being powerful anyways anyways time to leave each other now so thanks of course as usual to all of the patreon supporters for the contribution and help to the growth of the channel which you can still do for free of course you can like and comment down below as well as subscribe to the channel itself now with these things out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime ah oh, ah oh, finally I think video is a couple of minutes longer than I would have wanted to, but as usual.